Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And this is Uhambo the Journey. So, as I welcome you guys back, I'd also like to welcome myself because it's been a really long time since I took some content or posted anything. So, people on my WhatsApp were like, I owe them videos or I owe them an explanation, you know, and I kind of agree. But Ngaba, but Ngaba Sugela, Ngaba Tifani content and then GG, saying Yamalala, like, what's up, what's happening? So basically, guys. Welcome back to Humble the Journey. So, it journey, guys. It journey. Hambi, hambi, hambi. Katali journey. Ibuye funuk shala pansi. Abonje ibuye funuk tata. Iki fula paya. Itenge uju sinyazi genani mangabe. Kwa basege ba hamba be gota pelange pas. El sugi e inadali liye goli. Or el sugi goli liye inadali. In le anda olea. Montros. Nazi and Nip Basigila Pulbuil Tate E. Kifu, but Bahame Bokama, Bahame Boko Kamanta, Bahame Bopus and Machu, see what I might drink and my KFC, a bow bit in your wool and a mantle before a genie it could bake. So I guess, you know, it's kind of something similar for me, but what's different is that I've been, well, Bengigui season, you guys. Bengigui season, and I think Bengui say, Bengui say winter. The winter ya banda, and then it's happy winter ne. So, J, Beijing Kale lunch. You know, in life, in building our ups and downs, and there are times where you feel like in J season, ya kunje ubu to go. So for me, it's been the longest season of Umko and I just decided to, actually life decided on my behalf to just take a break and just go and try to heal and be better so that I can continue with all of this. I even took a social media break because a lot was happening, guys. I go for my laptop, go from when I phone Equipment is not ring. The work is not working. The money is not money. Everything J was just not giving. Everything was just giving negative energy, like just negative vibes. And as I'm having anyamings, I'm going to the push her, you know, push through. But A, it ended up taking at all on my mental health so in Bilo just decided uguti tagi safety belt wena go driver ni ya manji nani nyazike guys uguti manga bi in Bilo isi yenza je into zare you know you could go to woman je uzame uzkota mangweba and maybe heal and be okay also with the covid i know we passed covid but like for me the wounds are still fresh because COVID just set me back a cool, you know. So people that I was working with, people who got stuck in China, now when I look at their lives, it's like they're so ahead. They... I ain't going to You know, I was able to set her a few things at home. And then there's a bit in place, and then yeah, you know, and Lila A, a rising and Lila don't have Lisa is in the waiting booty, give a sekai, I guess. But I've tried a lot of businesses and examine what I'm allowing businesses because they're dependent on people. I put them on social media, got the exposure, and then they failed. So, guys, who fail at you? Oh, wait, or on your own. It's not easy now. Imagine, imagine failing publicly. You know, like everyone is asking you, "Oh, how's this going, hi boy? 
like a lot of things there a lot of questions that you cannot answer so i ended up just taking a social media break because i was starting to turn into a person that i didn't recognize i was bitter angry upset probably even jealous you know so i just decided Uguti, for my mental health let me just take a break from social media and just try to you know live for the now for the moment and not hide behind the memes and trying to laugh and stuff because you know like when the memes are not no longer there like reality would hit you know so after all of that after that long break now the wounds are still there like the scars are still fresh i'm still trying to heal the scars and guys i'm back in china i'm thankful for that i went for my birthday photo shoot today which is why i decided to do this video because hey now <laughs> i thought let me let me let me look i don't know decent for a change because this doesn't happen often well for me guys yes it's actually summer yo it's actually spring but probably yeah i digressed sorry I'm back in China. I'm working. I thought we are going to China. I was just gonna, you know, fix everything, heal me, give it right. But I realized I'm starting to notice a woozy. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some work. You know, healing just doesn't happen like overnight. But I thought that having a job, having an income, a stable income at that would help me heal faster but is not make sure basically like e e e see more situation everything you on a back home <sighs> it just needed a lot and while i was going through back home um <laughs> i'm very thankful for gospel music like guys i'm trying to build my relationship with god because i've never been a person oh you know i've always been that child and i just gladly leave the house and go play you know even in years on 20 so if you are into a gas ribbon, then it says I will come and sing me like a sister of Uti. Uzwe ni sonto in la pansa kumbuli angzwanga luto bengzela. So I've always felt like church was a waste of my time, but during my struggle, during my struggle, gim tingi le unkulunkul, gamu sesha gamu. I'm I'm hungry for God. Like I just I just need God. Like yo 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 yo. It was only God, guys. It was only God who helped me through that. Like gospel music. Every time I'd play gospel music, I would feel like it's gonna be okay, you know. And things will be better. So from there, I'm really trying to like build my relationship with God and Jay, you know, like a plain, like I just want to go hmm. Religion and everything, so I'm still trying to build my vocabulary. I'm still trying to learn about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, ni, ngsa zamu kuti ukulunkulu nimfune 
nje ngibe naye ngemkholo engimthembe noma ngabe kukuhle noma ngabe izinto ehamba kahle i felt like it was part of, i feel like it was part of his plan putting me in that situation cuz like even when i think about it now i still feel emotional so it was god it was god who took me out of that dark place now while i'm healing hi bo iskhasi siyahamba guys jiki jiki sengizoba mdala ngalendlela le you know so it's i've been overwhelmed man i've been overwhelmed with feelings i feel like yabamba ngiyaye kanje angizazi nani ukuthi ngiyenzani my cameraman actually asked me cuz he asked what the photo shoot is for and i told him oh it's my it's going to be my birthday soon so i'm doing a birthday photo shoot i'm trying to do things i'm trying to do different things that i'm trying to do just <laughs> i'm trying to do different things that i haven't been doing you know ekulengwa it's bego uqala nje ngizikhokhela eli photo shoot mina msalofu let me try to do things differently at the age that I'm turning. Um, I'm even trying to like have a, a skin care routine. Eh, isn't it nazas? Nangi zikobele vaselina, nangi zlalele, nangi zikobele. Nini vya mzimbenu ami nangi zlalele. But now I'm trying to like, you know, do these different things. Like even hair care, baba, nangazama, nangazama. But I know that nothing will change if I don't change. So I need to try and change and do things differently. Anywho, let's make a collab. Do I hear Pina? Am I happy? And it actually hit me. Like I couldn't I couldn't answer at the time. Like I couldn't honestly answer. I just said, "Oh yeah, I'm happy," you know. Like how people would ask you, "How are you?" and you say, "Oh, I'm fine. I'm good. How are you?" you know, and just move on and yet you just, you're not fine. Like you're not okay. Yeah, well, but nje because angaz noma sekwaba enom noma siyasaba ukuthi siyikhulume ngama feelings wethu or angaz angaz but ke I just said I'm fine. I'm fine. But I said I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. He said no. Um like you keep saying that you're getting old and you want to spoil yourself. You're doing this shoot cuz you know you want to make memories and stuff and stuff and stuff. I'm like, "Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy." He's like, oh, "Okay then. That's good." But deep down I'm not sure. I'm not sure cuz I've been thinking a lot about my age. I've been thinking a lot about my age and I think it's because like maybe I'm materialistic, I don't know. But that's I I get the patekayo engizibona nginayo for the age that I'm turning. I have the experience and the ngikungenzi ukuthi ngifile ukuthi maybe I'm selfish, maybe I'm ungrateful, but that's the thing. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful to be alive because I know that I can wake up the next day and try, you know. I'm I'm grateful that I have a job. I have umpeme ngilala ngihlile ngidla into engithandayo. Like today I decided to try a burger king it was my first time i had a burger king for the first time in my life guys like <laughs> anywho so i'm just trying out different things so i i i i i'm grateful i'm grateful for a lot of things i'm grateful i'm grateful for everything but i do not know if i am happy or content and i think that's where i lose it because i need to be happy with what i have you know so i don't know guys i don't know am i am i alone am i alone am i am i am i asking for too much like 
like I don't know I, I really do not know how to feel so if you are feeling some type of way now with the age that you're turning <sighs> this is about right I guess as long as Sapif Molan for you too, as long as G, you know, so keep yourself far up. Everything is gonna be okay. I hope. <sighs> Are you guys happy? I want to try. I want to try and be happy. Be happy with what I have. Be happy with where I am. It's just that I keep looking at the past I think so the journey continues I guess the, the journey continues of trying to you know change my mindset change my perspective and just try to be happy where I am currently I don't know I don't know we shall try we shall try. But guys, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for what I've been able to achieve. I'm very grateful with where the Lord has been able to take me to. Where the Lord has been able to push me, you know. I'm very grateful with what the Lord has done with me. But I just, I need to find my purpose I feel like I haven't, I haven't tapped into that space where I know my purpose. I know, or I feel like I'm fulfilling my purpose. I'm back in China. I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about that. I'm even gaining a bit of weight. Because <laughs> there's a stable income. Oh my God, I love money. <laughs> I guess I just love money. But I'm able to do things. I'm able to plan. Like I'm able to. I'm able. Actually. I am able. So that makes me happy. That makes me. You know. Okay. I guess. So guys. I will be sharing more. On how this healing journey is going for me. And. Um yeah how my experience in china has been people have been complaining guys 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 age guys age responsibilities priorities i was young back then so this is dalela this is now now but I think I've given myself enough time, well, not enough time, but just reasonable time to like settle in and just try to find myself and just try to be okay and just take it as it comes, you know, with life as well. I'm just going to take it as it comes, take it as it comes. And guys, we still, we can still do it. I feel really tired most of the times but i still believe that we have the energy to fight we still have the energy to pursue these dreams make them a reality so it's not really the failing that matters but how you deal with it and how you come back from it that's what also like kind of like really matters and determines uguti you know so you just need to like learn and so this is me trying to and just enjoy life and experience the experiences that are out there for me to experience and try things out guys <laughs> it takes a lot for me to actually give up on something so i'm just gonna keep on trying i'm just gonna keep on trying and go <laughs> 
thank you so much thank you for watching and please let me know what you'd like for me to share with my new journey in china this time so what you'd like to see what you'd like for me to show you what you want to know about china jay feel free to balala on the comment sections and please do like comment and subscribe see you next time bye